Hollywood, it's the Newlywed Game! And here are today's Newlyweds. This couple exchanged rings 17 months ago, Monique and Michael Bracken. Our next couple recited their vows two months ago, Bernice and Norris Walker. This couple joined together 14 months ago, Monica and Tony Kessler. And our final couple made it official just one month ago, Susie and Jim Gray. to meet my couples are are you ready to play yeah. 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 ladies you look so pretty today first thing i want to do is get out go off to our soundproof room if you would please and gentlemen around one will be asking you some five point questions you'll be asking these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns remember now if her answer matches your prediction you then get five points and also remember that each correct prediction brings you that much closer to that fabulous second honeymoon gentlemen it's nice to have you here are you ready yes Absolutely. first question for five points Hey, remember high school? <laughs> Barely. In, in high school health class, who will your wife say could have probably taught the sex education unit as well as your teacher? You or her? <laughs> Tim, who could have taught sex education as well as the teacher? You uh, or her? I am absolutely sure uh, that this is going to be me. You were kind of I acting for you, sir? I am the person. Pardon me? I, I am the teacher. You are the teacher? I am the teacher. All right. Okay. Hey, Norris. Well, I hate to be manly, but I guess it would have to be me. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you hate that. Yeah. Michael. Well, I have to say it'll be me. Be you. It'll be me. You're the teacher. I'm worldly. You're worldly. Worldly. Okay, tell me. I'm definitely the teacher. You're definitely the definitely teacher. Definitely teacher. I control it all. So, so you control it. I control it all. Yeah, okay. Next question, gentlemen. When it comes to your wife's body, which part of her will she say was most recently on the fritz? <laughs> Norris, which part of her body was most recently That's on the fritz? <laughs> I guess you can say her legs. Her legs. All right, Michael? Her mouth. Her mouth, yeah. <laughs> Tony? I want to say her butt. Her butt was on yeah. the fritz. She's lactose intolerant. Yeah, yeah. Just Tim. <laughs> I spent a lot of, on this. Uh, I would have to say her chest. Her chest? Yes. Okay. Next question, gentlemen. How will your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. If I needed an escort to a big company party and my wife couldn't go, she would probably suggest I bring her friend blank. But I'd have a lot more fun if I could boogie down with her friend who instead. So, Michael, you go to this big party. Your wife can't go. She's going to suggest you take her friend, who? First name only, please. Australia. Her, that's her name, Australia? Yes. Down under girl, I get it. Okay. <laughs> but, but, Michael, Michael, you, you would rather boogie down with? Uh, I would say Christy. Christy, all right. Tony, she's mm. going to suggest you take? Dawn. Dawn, but you'd rather take? Uh, Jenny. Jenny. Tim, she's going to suggest you take? Ton. But you'd rather take? Uh, without a doubt, Alyssa. Alyssa. <laughs> Alyssa. Okay. Hey, Norris. Suggest you take <sighs> Tony. Tony, but but you'd rather take who? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been a real spy. Yeah, I know. I guess I guess I'll see Doris. Doris. All right, gentlemen. Thank you. We'll be right back to reunite the newlyweds, and we'll see how our husbands have predicted with their wives today. Right after these messages. recorded your predictions on cards you now have them in front of you each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer you get five points one couple with the most points at the end of the show wins that fabulous second honeymoon so ladies we're glad you came back and here's your first question for five points tell me in high school in the high school health class who would you say could have probably taught the sex education unit as well as your teacher would that be you or your husband Monica, who could have taught sex education just as well as the, just as good as the teacher did? You or or your husband? Definitely my husband because he's kind of been around. 
He's been around. He's been around. He knows what he's doing. Are you kidding me? And not at all. Okay, he predicted you would say that it would be him. Yeah, he could have. All right. What do you? I would have to say him. He could have taught the sex education class. Yeah, because he was in the service, and I just think he was an international lover during oh, the time. Oh, an international <laughs> lover. Michael said, hey, bring on the class. He'll do it. Sure, you bet. Hey, Bernice. Hey, Bob. How, How are you doing? doing? Just fine. Now, here we are in high school, sex education. Teacher doesn't show up one day. Who's going to teach this class, you or him? Uh, he would. A little better than me. Just a little bit better? Yeah, you know, I had to teach him a few things, too. Did so. you? <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. You yeah. taught him some things? Oh, yeah. What did you yeah. teach him? Oh, Bob, oh. you don't want me to say it on TV, do you? Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> Norris said that, uh, card for me, Norris. Yeah, he could have taught it. Okay, yeah, you got it. Susie. I'm going to have to say... Him. He's the teacher. All right, he predicted you would say that. Definitely, he is the teacher. You got him. All right, everybody did good. Y'all scored in that one. Let's try another one. Ladies, when it comes to your body, which part of you would you say was most recently on the fritz? Which part of you was most recently on the fritz, Monique? When it comes to your body. Well, I would have to say my mouth because... Why? Because he thinks that I have a big mouth and I run it too much at the wrong times. <laughs> I see. Michael said it would be your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> well, what does she do, Michael? Man, she had talked your ear off. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> she was talking all day today. My ear is numb over here. Does she got you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Were we allowed to do that? Yeah, anytime you want to. He's your husband. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Bernice? What part I of your would have to say... My stomach. Your stomach was on the fritz. Yeah, because it is so big, Bob. You know, I know it's big, but he exaggerates. He makes it even bigger. Is that so right? I know that's what he said. Well, he doesn't have any hair. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Jealousy will get you nowhere. Oh, <laughs> Jealousy will get me nowhere. <laughs> he predicted you would say that part of you is on the fritz of your legs. Oh, oh my legs. Yeah, well, oh, you're right, right, baby. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Did you call him baby? Yeah, that's my boo. He's your baby? Yeah, that's my boo. All right. That's good. That's good. Susie? Um, well, last thing that got repaired was my chest. Your chest? <laughs> oh, we got our chest repaired, did we? Yeah. No kidding? Yeah. Oh, be darn. All right. He said the last thing that was on the fritz? Your chest. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Michael, why are you popping? You don't want them to win. <laughs> I'm just being nice. I have to say my mouth because I'm always telling him what to do, what to think, everything. All right. And Tony said that the last part of your body was on the fritz was your butt. Oh. My butt. <laughs> Ladies, how would your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking. Think about this one now. If I needed an escort, this is him talking, if I needed an escort to a big company party and my wife couldn't go, she would probably suggest that I bring her friend Blank. But I'd have a lot more fun if I could boogie down with her friend who instead. Give me a first thing. Uh, Bernice, he's going to a big party, so you can't go. So you're going to suggest that he takes your friend who? <laughs> Luis. Luis. But he'd have a lot more fun if he could take... Gladys. Gladys, all right. He said, you would suggest, card for me please, Norris. You'd suggest Tony, but he wants to take Doris. Oh, okay. uh, Doris? Doris. Doris? Yeah. That's all I had to think of. Doris? Yeah, that's what he said, he said, he said. <laughs> yeah. To him, I said, who would you? He said, I want to take <laughs> Doris. Doris? Doris. <laughs> Doris? <laughs> what is it? Hey! <laughs> Leave her husband alone. That's all right, though. That's all right. You can take her. Susie? <laughs> Susie? You'd, yeah. you'd like for him to take who, but he would um, rather take who? I'd like him to take my friend Pamela because they can't stand each other. Right, and, but he wants to take... 
better not want to take anyone. Oh, yeah, he got to answer right away. <laughs> he would want to take Alyssa. Alyssa, all right. He said you would suggest that he take uh, 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 Tom. Tom. Is that right? Tom. Tom, Tom. But he would take Alyssa, yes. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah. In fact, he'd take Alyssa in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I know he would. Yeah. That's why I wasn't going to send him with her. Yeah, thanks. Monica, yeah. you would like him to take who? I would like him to take my friend Don. And But he'd rather take... Jenny. Jenny. He said it would be, card for me please, Don and Jenny. Yeah. Yeah. Monique. Monique, you want him to take who? I would have to say my friend Shiva because she would Shiva. tell me everything. All right, but... He would probably take Ayana because she's the big spender. Ayana, all right. He predicted that you would want him to take uh, Australia, but he's going to go with Christy. Uh-oh. Who? Christy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in the wild to see how well they predict what their husbands will say right after these messages. <laughs> Are you ready for a Welcome back, everybody. All right, ladies, your husbands are now secluded off stage. Your turn to predict what they will say. And remember, these are the 10-point questions. And here's our first one. Ladies, I want you to take a look at our monitor, if you would, please. Because on the monitor, you will see pictures of today's husbands. If we commanded them to do an interpretive dance to express their desire for you, which of the men, not including your husband, will he say has the most seductive moves? Now, Bernice, would it be husband number one, number two, or number four that has the most seductive moves? Husband number two. Number two, all right. Monique, would it be number one, number three, or number four? I think I would have to say number one. Number one has the most seductive move. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> Monica's not sure she agrees with you, but it's okay. No. Monica, number two, three, or four? Number two. Number two? Yep. Okay. And Susie, what do you think? I think number two. Number two? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody picked Norris. Oh, Norris was looking oh, good. That would be fucking having him off the money. Yeah, he's all yours. Yes. Yeah. Next top question. Top. Ladies, if your husband were to appear on the David Letterman show, what part of his body will he say he would feature in a stupid human trick? Monica, what part of his body could be featured in a stupid human trick? His butt. His butt. He has no butt, he just has a crack. <laughs> I guess it could be worse then, couldn't it? Okay. Susie? Um his head, because he's his got head. that bald spot up got there. A bald spot. Yeah, we'll that. be sure and tell him. Bernice, what part of his body could be featured as a stupid human trick? His butt. His butt? He has none. You're none kidding. at all. None at all? None at all. Monique, what part of his body? I'm going to go with the stomach. He's had uh, one too many beers. Oh, it's your own coming. Okay, 25-point bonus question. Ladies, when it comes to swimming, will your husband say he prefers fresh water, salt water, or pool water? Susie? Um, I'm going to say salt water since he proposed 35 feet underneath the ocean. So what does it sound like underwater when he proposed? Um, it was a big sign. You know, oh, it said, Susie B, will you marry me? Oh, we won't be me, Bob, I'm going to say pool water. Pool water, all right. Monique? I would have to say fresh water. Fresh water, okay. Monica? Fresh water. Fresh water, ladies. Thank you very much. We'll be back with the husband and super pair answers. I'm going to be Welcome back to the Newlywed Game. All of our couples have scored points, so we're having a good time. Now, gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. Remember, these are the 10-point questions. And, uh, here's, you know, before the break, before the break, we asked the ladies to determine which husband would be the best interpretive dancer. And to find out, well, here's what we're going to do, guys. To find out, we're going to ask the husbands to, uh, uh, well, uh, to have a dance contest. In fact, what's going to happen is I'm going to give you 20 seconds to show the ladies through dance how much you love them, how much you really adore them. And then afterwards, the audience is going to pick the best dancer. And I should also point out that the husband that they pick We'll take home a new color television set. So, guys, here's what I want you to do. I want you to stand up now. Stand up, ladies. Keep uh, keep those cards flat in your lap. Now you're going to have to convince your lady through 
through your dance how much you really, really love her. Norris, just pretend like Doris is sitting right there now. All right. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so could we uh, could we start the music, please? Ready and go, fellas. <laughs> Tim, you have no rhythm at all. I just want you to know. <laughs> all right, let, let, let's find out how well you've done. Then we'll announce our winner. Uh, Michael, wh who, who do you think your, your wife said uh, would, would do the best dance other than you? Would it be number one, number three, or number four? Number three. Number three. All right, she chose, she chose number one. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to be that good. <laughs> Norris! Norris, did your wife choose number one, number two, or number four? Uh, number two. Number two! She chose number two! Yeah! All right! Tim, you truly have no rhythm. All right, who do you think your wife said? Number one, two, or three? She's going to say number three. Number three. She thought, no, oh, number two would do it. No. Okay, Tony, would it be number two, three, or four? Number two. Number two? That's what she said, number two. Okay. Now, I'll tell you what let's do. Let's find out who has won the color television set. Audience, and somebody tell me, who did the audience choose as the... You're kidding me. The color TV goes to Norris! <laughs> Gentlemen, if you were to appear on the David Letterman show, what part of your body would you feature in a stupid human trick? Tim? I'd probably, no, I'm going to have to say, she'd say my calves. Your calves, my all right. Calves. She predicted you would say, we would feature, card please. No, it's your head. The ball spot, you know? Nice no, of you. Yeah, don't, don't turn your back to the camera because oh. it gets in our eyes. <laughs> Tony. What part of your body would be featured as a stupid human trick? I'm going to have to say my butt, because she says I don't have one. Okay. Back you know what? She crack. said the very same thing. It is your butt. Michael. I'd have to say my stomach. She's always talking about my stomach. Your stomach. She said that it would be your stomach. Yeah. Do what you do. <laughs> what do you think, your Norris? What part of your body could be a stupid human trick? Well, I can't say it the way she said, but she always tells me no butt to talk. <laughs> no butt at all. She said, no butt at all. Yeah. Okay. Before we get to our 25 point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going in their second honeymoon. Kramer? You're going to Jamaica. <laughs> You'll stay at the Wyndham Rose Hall Golf and Beach Resort just outside of Montego Bay. Rose Hall offers championship golf, tennis, water sports, and a private white sand beach. Wyndham Rose Hall, the jewel of Jamaica. It's the perfect place for newlyweds. Back to you, Bob. Thank you, John, very much. Somebody's going to Jamaica. Let's find out who it's going to be. Norris has already got a color television. <laughs> Gee whiz. 25 point bonus question. Gentlemen, when it comes to swimming, would you say that you prefer fresh water, pool water, or salt water? Couple number four, Tim and Susie with 10. 25 gives you 35. Get it right in your first place, Tim. I'm going to say fresh water. Fresh water. She said, you prefer. Card for me, please. You got to be kidding. Where, where, where did you propose? Oh, that wasn't my favorite spot. Oh. I proposed in 32 feet of water, bottom of the ocean. You know, big poster. It's kind of logical she would say salt water. But she knows I want to move. Onto a lake. All right, so couple number two. Michael and Monique with 20-25 gives you 45. Michael, what do you say? Pool water. Pool water. She said you prefer fresh water. <laughs> couple number three, Norris and Bernice. 25-25 gives you 50. Norris, would it be fresh water, pool water, or salt water? Pool water. Pool water. She said yes. pool water. All right, couple number one, Tony and Monica. You have 30. 25 gives you 55. 
Tony, get it right, you and Monica are on your way to Jamaica. If you miss it, you end up in second place. Blue say pool water. Pool water. She said it would be fresh water. Couple number three. Nice and Reese. You're going to Jamaica. Congratulations to you. Thanks for all the work on this. I'm Bob Eubanks. We'll see you next time. Bye bye, everybody. Today's outstanding dancer will take home Samsung's 28-inch stereo TV. With the unique Vision Plus feature, lets you see more of the actual broadcast signal from Samsung.